Welcome. Thank you for your interest in our cybersecurity awareness training video. Before we get started, I want to ask you a few questions. I know you're going to say, duh, of course not. But I'm making a point. I'll ask them anyways so you can see where I'm going with this. If I sent you an email asking you to forward me your username and your password for your online banking, what would you do? Would you send that to me? What about if I asked you to install a program on your computer or on your device that would send me a report of all the websites you visit? Would you install that program? What about if I just wanted all your personal information on your computer, all the things you store on there, your pictures and such? Would you let me have access to it? I bet you said no. The truth is there are criminals out there who are asking people to do these exact types of things every day. And believe it or not, people are giving them what they want. It's called deceptive phishing. And I want to teach you what it is and how to spot it so that you don't become a victim. So deceptive phishing is the most basic form of phishing that cyber criminals use. And their aim is to steal your personal information. Things like your username and your passwords, or to have you unknowingly download some malicious software right on your device. Now, these criminals will traditionally use threats and scare tactics and send fake emails to your personal email address, and they'll impersonate legitimate brands or companies and try to force an emotional response from you to get you panicked, to get you worried, to get you to do something. Deceptive phishing emails are always very generic because they send them out to thousands of people simultaneously. And what they're hoping to do is just catch a few people off guard and get them to do what they want them to do. Now, if you would fall for one of these deceptive phishing attacks, realize that the criminals are going to sell your information to other criminals. And these other criminals are going to use that to exploit you. They're going to sell them your username, your password, your logins. They're going to post your personal information online. They're going to try to exploit you. They can even install malicious software on your computer without you even knowing it. And this software can track every website you visit. And again, they're going to use that information to get money from you, to exploit you. Now, let me ask you another question. Would you like to know how to spot a deceptive phishing email? I bet you said yes to that question. So just keep watching and I'm going to teach you the tricks that these criminals use. Fortunately, these types of attacks are very basic and they always have telltale signs which make it really easy for us to spot. So the first thing you need to do is check whether or not the email is even relevant to you. You got to realize this, that these criminals are sending thousands of emails out every day. And the chances that the company or the service that they're impersonating is something that you use is very unlikely. Like for example, let's say you get an email saying that your PayPal account has been locked out and you need to unlock it or you need to do some kind of steps to remove the restrictions. Well, if you don't use PayPal, it's a phishing attempt. Also, English isn't usually the cyber criminal's first language. Check over the email. If there's any obvious misspellings or any poor grammar, or if it's just really not up to the standards of what you'd expect from the company that's sending you the email, it's probably a phishing attempt. Take a look at these words highlighted in red in this email. What's wrong with them? Clear spelling mistakes. Another telltale sign are the logos. Because these emails are made in a hurry so they can just send out as many as they possibly can, the quality control is not the highest. So look at the logo. Is it blurry? Is it clear? Is it the right size? Does anything seem off? Take a close look at this fake email. You notice that the size of the LinkedIn logo is not right. It's really big. And the picture of the person that's being impersonated here is blurry. If you're suspicious of an email, another thing you can do is check the from address. So the criminals are pretty careless with this. They don't put a lot of effort into it because they're sending out so many emails. So look at the from address and does it seem like it matches the company that you're getting the email from? 
Does it match up with any previous emails from this company that you received? Check it. If it doesn't match or if it seems off in any way, there's a good chance this is a deceptive phishing email. So in this example here, we've highlighted the from address in red. Another really important thing that I want to teach you is don't click anything before you hover your mouse over the link. When you do this, you can check and see where the link is taking you. It can be taking you somewhere completely differently than what the email's telling you. This is how you download malicious software onto your computer, and this is exactly how criminals will steal from you. So be cautious. Here's an example of a fake email to illustrate that. Deceptive phishing emails are never going to be specifically tailored just for you. They're never going to start with your first name and last name or anything like that. They're always going to be generic. They're going to start with something like, Dear user or Dear sir or Dear madam. Legitimate companies are always going to use your name. So if it's starting with something generic like this, be on the lookout. Take a look at this example. Now one last trick I want to show you is really easy to miss. So be aware. Even if an email address looks real at the first glance, check it again carefully. These criminals are good at sliding in an extra letter. Like in this example, they slid an extra O in Facebook. So it looks real. That's enough to fool most people. All right, so we've reached the end of the training video and you should now know what deceptive phishing is. Let's review how to spot it. Number one, is the email relevant to you? Number two, check the spelling and grammar. Number three, look at the logos and pictures. Number four, check the from address. Number five, don't click anything until you check the link. Number six, beware of generic greetings. And number seven, Give it a second look. Don't let them fool you. So let's find out how well you did and see how much you learned. It's time to take a quiz. So thanks for watching. And don't be afraid to go back and watch it again if you missed anything. And always remember that your awareness of cybersecurity is your best defense.